94.1 WHRP, Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, told it, told it, told it. It's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony, 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 Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning. 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP. We back at it, y'all. Mm, we hit Tony. Hello. Hey, hey, are you caught up yet? I'm caught up. Well, yeah, well. See, you, you <laughs> private planes, East Coast to West Coast. Oh, Tony. my goodness. <laughs> Woo. I'm good on the air rides now. See, mm, that's what happens when you I'm good kick on your the legs air rides. First class, Tony. L- listen, don't talk. Hey, hey, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to tell the word that you was going. I ain't going to tell nobody else. <laughs> I shared a little bit on my Facebook page. Had a good time. Uh, great celebrations for the big birthday. And yeah. shout out to the family and the besties who all, uh, you know, embraced me and just showered me. And I really felt, uh, whoo, I made this number. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, yeah, when you do a rewind on This Is Your Life, mm. woo! Now, Tony, I heard you had a suitcase full of ones. How did you get that through to yourself? <laughs> right. Hey, listen, they didn't mind because I had to make it rain! Make it rain! Hey, that's one way to get through the line. All they right. said it doesn't rain in Southern California, but you got there. <laughs> I got there. Uh, shout out to the um, all the airport uh, attendees and employees and stuff. Let me tell you, uh, this just only happened for me mm-hmm. and maybe many others, but this is my story. I flew hmm, probably about five to six planes during this vacation. Yeah, because I was going up and down, up and down, wanting to see the elders in the family. And, you know, when you have elders in the family, you go to them. That's they don't right. come to you. Big facts. So yes. I had to take five or six plays to <laughs> make you have it to happen. Bring a, uh, a remote control, too? <laughs> right. I'm going to be like, go get that remote control. <laughs> right. <laughs> good flashback memories. Uh, all that said, you know, there's a lot of people that are doing good things and nice things, and they are always overseen or overshadowed yes. by all the ugliness in the world. So, um, to everyone that was kind, professional, and mm. just nice, I made sure that I, I acknowledge that. And I want to encourage other people to do that if you're traveling this summer. You know, take a little extra time just to say thank you. You're doing a great job. Yes, yes. You know? And so, and don't get mad. I mean, sometimes somebody uh, took my luggage and I had to do that little security thing. And the lady, she's mm-hmm. like, I don't even know why they look at me in your bag. I said, I know why, <laughs> but that's okay. Don't get mad. <laughs> they're at trying them. to don't get them ones. <laughs> <laughs> we know why they were trying to get in there. <laughs> we know why they were trying to get in there. Good trip, but a whole bunch of tripping hmm. in the country while yes, I was on vacation. Was. OMG. Yes. Had to get back. Um, I had thought I would stay a couple of days longer, but when I found out they were taking all the black jobs, oh my god! Oh yeah, I said, "Oh, time to get back home." Oh my god, (laughs) man! And Tony, I had hadn't had a chance to say this in a while. Hmm. Let me tell you, (laughs) oh my god, right, Ursha, baby, yeah, Ursha, Ursha, Ursha. Mm -hmm. I know y'all didn't see the BET Awards last night. Yeah. All right, that, and if you didn't watch the BET Awards, you probably had all eyes on Simone Biles and the ladies, and did they do the doggone thing? They did the doggone thing. USA! USA! Hello! USA! (laughs) All right. All right, we've got that, and a little bit more, a chance for you to win a trip to see Missy Elliott. She's doing the doggone thing, too. Tony in the morning, TJ Primetime 256. We're back at it on 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 94.1 WHRP. Wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> and you know what that means. Even though we're counting down to the Independence Day, uh, you know, bills are due. <laughs> right? What? Utilities? <laughs> oh, my God. This heat wave that's been hitting mm-hmm. everybody, been raised. Come on now. I heard that uh, Huntsville utility bills may be coming a little late. There's something going on with the postal Did service. Did you hear the secret about Huntsville utilities? Uh, no. Let, I'm a t- let me tell you something. Mm. If you do not pay your utility bill, mm-hmm. do you know they come cut it off for free? <laughs> <laughs> 
Such a wonderful company. Yeah, you know, they, I, a lot of people don't know that. No, uh, yeah, they we, take the time out their busy mm-hmm, day mm-hmm. to come cut everything off for of free. Only if you don't pay it, though. You know, don't uh, only if you don't pay it. Only if you don't All right. Pay it. Well, thank you, Huntsville <laughs> Utilities. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so other people, I'm so glad I'm in Morgan County. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Boy, they do it out there too. They do it out there too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good morning, Decatur, where it's greater. So, did you get a chance to see any of the presidential debate last week? I I did. I didn't want to watch. I tapped in just a little bit because I was really trying to unplug mm-hmm. from the world, so to speak, <laughs> to give my brain a break. But it was so ridiculous. I'm like, this is what we have. You mean to tell me, out of all the billions of people in this country, we only have two people w- w- willing to run for president uh, of course, uh, currently we have President Joe Biden mm-hmm. uh, at the realm, and the other person is trying to make a comeback. Ooh. And the stupidity, ignorance. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just, concerned. <laughs> should have been way concerned oh. way before this even happened. Um, but out of that, most people heard um, his orangeness say that immigrants, people that are coming across the border, are taking the black jobs. And the internet erupted. Went crazy. Cuckoo. Yes. This dude right here. (laughs) Like, what? So now, all over black Twitter, TikTok, any social site, you're going to find a lot of people with their list of what black jobs are. What is a black job? What does that mean? Right. You know, and we have people from all races and uh, backgrounds asking that question, what is a black job? Mm -hmm. Because I filled out a few uh, applications over my uh, lifespan, never saw where I was, you know, applying for a black job. Mm -hmm. They're struggling for votes. They went from taking white jobs now to taking black jobs. This is crazy. Well, now you made a point. You made a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You made a point. Uh, Yeah. So, um, what do you do with information like that? I mean, this is this is alarming. Uh, other countries have to be on the floor rolling with laughter. Like this is a <laughs> this is this is a bad comedy show. Like what are we doing? A uh, president Joe Biden kind of dropped the ball. He mm-hmm. he got stuck. Um, seemed like he was lost for words. Right. W- have you ever been so mad that you couldn't even say a word? I I almost felt like he was so frustrated he didn't know what else to say like he didn't want to start cussing like usher so he just didn't say (laughs) nothing (laughs) right i don't know what was going on there and even um former president um barack obama said he had and we do remember he had a bad uh debate Mm -hmm. night too Right, right you know so things can turn around but this is you mean to tell me there's no other people this is the cream of the crop the top of the top. This is the best of the best that both parties had to offer. Too old, old. This is about as bad as Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fighting. Well, well I don't know. <laughs> that would be more, that is more entertaining. You're right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, it hasn't right. happened yet, but I'm sure looking for the beatdown. <laughs> Tony in the morning and DJ Primetime 256. They're hooking you up with prizes. I won. Register now at whrpfm.com. We looking black in the day. Was that black? We're looking back in the day. Back, 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 back. Well, black in the day, Shirley Jackson, the first African American woman to earn a doctorate at MIT. Uh, she, um, the tele- telecommunication research that she led in the invention of the touch tone phone, which goes like uh, portable fax fiber optic cables called caller ID. And in 2014, President Barack Obama named her the co-chair of the Presidential Intelligence Advisory. That's back in the day. On this date, back in the day, on ni- in 1943, the first time that tax could be held or withheld from your paycheck. It happened on this date in 1943. Why are you shaking your head? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Not them taxes. <laughs> All right. Zip codes are introduced for the United States mail on this date in 1963. Medicare began in 1966. And Tom Bradley became the first black mayor of Los Angeles in 1973. It was 1979 that Sony introduced the Walkman to the world. An amazing turn of events. And also in 1982, 
Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, well, they release The Message. And it was LeBron James who signed to the L.A. Lakers on this date in 2018. Celebrities celebrating birthdays and famous people, too. Missy Elliott has a birthday today. Chloe Bailey, the nine-time Olympic gold medalist Carl Lewis, Adele Givens, most known for her Queens of Comedy, Wally Famous Amos, the man who created the special chocolate mm-hmm. chip cookie. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love them. <laughs> in memoriam, we have Shirley Hemphill. She was unforgettable waitress in the classic TV show. What's, What's happening? happening? <laughs> and Princess Diana. Find more celebrity birthdays on our Facebook page at 94.1 WHRP. And it is National Postal Workers Day, so you got to show a little bit of love to those who do their best to deliver the mail. That's Black in the Day, Back in the Day. Tony in the Morning, 94.1 WHRP. Good news in the neighborhood on 94.1 WHRP. DJ Primetime 256, we got that good news in the neighborhood. Good news in the neighborhood. Big, 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 big shout out and thank you to the Decatur Fire and Rescue. All right, Mr. Tucker is known for traveling the city around Decatur on his bicycle mm-hmm. when he had a uh, some issues with his bike. Oh, Stops by the Decatur Fire and Rescue mm-hmm. and had them take a look at it. The nice gentlemen and women out there decided, hey, let's take his bike down to a repair shop. This is his only mode of transportation. Okay. And it was deemed unrepairable. Mm. So you know what the great people at Decatur Fire Rescue did? What they did. They bought Mr. Tucker Aww. another bike. This is your good news in the neighborhood. For more information, check out our Facebook page at 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP. Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony in the morning, it's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning, 94.1 WHRP. Can I give a shout out, Tony? Yeah, please. Shout out to everybody. I don't care if you're male or female. If you got some nice sandals and some some high calf socks and you stand over that grill this weekend. Wait, 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 I wait, wait. Respect wait. you. <laughs> Not them socks. The high, you got to have a high calf sock. You know, you got to just high, oh, high calf my socks. Goodness. Okay. Mm. Hey, and not, not, hey, don't, no shout out if you're cooking with propane, all right? Well, all right, well, we, well we gotta, wait a minute. Now, do, do the socks have to be white? Mm. No, they just got to be high. They can this be any color. Okay. All any right. color, as long as they high socks. Okay. If you got ankle cuts, it's not right. I think people should uh, do something special this holiday and um, have those decorated socks. Like, have a real real sock game. Mm. Don't come unless you got a sock game. I got a little UFOs on my side. There you go. There's a start. Yeah, yeah. There's oh, a start. Okay. That's oh, yeah. what I like that. Taking off. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So, the BET Awards happened last night. Did you watch? Did you watch? Did you watch? I did. I did. I did. And, man, Tony, Taraji P. Henson mm-hmm. set that thing mm-hmm. off. When you talk about somebody with talent yeah. and that takes their craft serious, mm-hmm. uh, uh, how she came out with her all red on like she yes, was banging they she not was like banging. us <laughs> what I love about it is she wrote her own lyrics yeah. her lyrics had a message mm-hmm. it was dope it was they, it, it made people want to sing the original song mm-hmm. but they had to listen to exactly what she was saying exactly and she always always delivers she came through uh, def- let me tell you when I was on the west coast there wasn't any radio station that you turned on including country they was playing they're, where they're not like look <laughs> I wonder what they were saying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yes, Dolly Parton came out. They're not like us, honey. <laughs> Darling, they're not like us. Darling, they're not like us. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But it was a pretty uh, powerful and impactful uh, night in some instances. In some, in some, in some. Some other instances, I was like, let me get back to the Olympic trials because Simone Biles and the girls were on. Um, so, nonetheless, uh, yeah, Taraji comes out. Megan the Stallion showed up and did her whole opening act. Did you like that one? She did. She did her. She she, she opened. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. 
It's rough out here tonight. Yeah. All right, listen, uh, Victoria Monet and Sexy Red gave us a moment to watch. What about that? Uh, so, Victoria Monet, yes. Mm-hmm. Sexy Red, can she really rap? I, I keep mm. saying that out loud. I don't know. Uh, it's something just in me be coming out. It's it don't matter. Out, She's one out. of the hottest rappers out that, here these that's days. What they, yeah, yeah, they say that. They, I liked uh, uh, Shabuzi. Shabuzi? Yes. He came out with uh, everybody in the club. Getting t- he came out with Jay Kwan, mixed <laughs> right. the country and the R&B together. Yeah. Oh. That was great. Mm, I love that. I love that. Who was the young lady who did the the Big Mama? Big Mama. I, I was my eyes was like really <laughs> hit me. I'm like, oh yeah, that's great, Big Mama. <laughs> Good job, Big Mama. Good job. Um, yeah, Tiana Taylor, I thought, did an exceptional job last Kiki night. Palmer. Kiki, Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer was dope. I was shy. I was like, what? Yeah. There was a lot of dancing. More Kiki dancing Palmer did the whole old school Usher thing when he dr- used to drop his pants. Yep. And she stood up on the chair and everyone was like, <laughs> Marsha Ambrosius showed up and did her part of a tribute. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of women who did the tribute for Usher's uh, songs, except for Childish Gambino. And I was trying to figure out where are all the men R&B artists at? Like, well, I'll wait. There's a bunch of them. I mean, you could have went Chris Brown. Give you on. No, first of all, that's a little bit too much. Chris is on tour right now. See, too. but I'm just saying. See, Breezy's dope. Breezy really could have came with it though. Miguel. The mm. weekend, Daniel Caesar. Mm. I'm, just, I'm just saying there, there's mm. there's there's yeah. a lot of R&B artists that could have came out there. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of male R&B artists. I felt like personally, I I enjoyed the female ensemble I, tribute you because did. yeah, because think about what he did at in Vegas. He mm-hmm. tribute all the women. <laughs> well, true, yeah, yeah. See, which is why where are my male R&B artists at? Okay, you, you know, know what? I'm a, no. I should, you know, I got my own. Mm. Yeah. Mm, my own tribute. It's I'm gonna okay do for to do here. something different, and it was different. So I, I actually enjoyed that. Um, their tribute. It was it, definitely different. It, it really was. Um, but then let's talk about the uh, the tribute to Usher and his acceptance speech. The one that nobody heard. All the blurs. <laughs> <laughs> right. beep, beep, beep. It sounded like a. It rap was album. nice to see Babyface and L.A. Reid. It was good to see Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, mm-hmm. um, also the little guy, Jermaine Dupri. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> legends. Yeah, legends, and a lot who had um, a lot to do with his career. It was nice to see his mother, uh, but I was a little taken back on the profanity chosen t- uh, to to express himself. I thought that, that it wasn't a good time for all of that because what you did was you kind of robbed us from hearing your speech because right. – you know, technically, the network had to bleep them out because they would get a big fine, which I'm sure they, they're they getting a bill today because there were a few that slipped through. Mm-hmm. And the kids are still watching this. That part. Come on, it's on regular TV, people. And your mama's standing there. And your mama's there. Sta- <laughs> I ain't cursing in front of my mama. No, she ain't going to beat me. I tell you what, I ain't cussing in front of hey, your mama either. Hey, my mama will be in front of the class. She ain't about to do it in front from, of a room. Listen, from what I heard, I ain't cussing nothing in front of your mama. <laughs> it's local and it's here. The Tony in the Morning Show on 94.1 WHRP. The latest gossip headline. They all up in everybody's business. Tony's Tattletale. Tattletale. Tony's Tattletale. Tattletale. Tony's Tattletale. Well, she closed the show last night, and one of the reasons she probably was last on stage is because she's always late. <laughs> That's one way to get her there on time. Talking about Lauren Hill, who <laughs> showed up at the BT Awards last night. <laughs> we all know who you're talking about. <laughs> all right, okay. But the question is, the Fugees, are they going on tour this summer? We've been waiting since last year. Who's still sitting at the Orion waiting for her to show up? I got my ticket. <laughs> all right. A source said to the New York Post, that Lauren Hill, Wyclef, Prost, and they're all working on a brand new album. Finally! Mm. <laughs> yes! Okay, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, it's been since, what, 1996? A long time. 1996! <laughs> <laughs> Sean Diddy Combs won't get his day in Miami Beach anymore. Nope, the city commissioners revoked the proclamation of the Sean Diddy Combs Day. The day was established in 2016. They canceled canceled him, and uh, this time um, he's dealing with not only that, 
He had to give back this. He had to give back that. Everybody's stripping them. We want our awards back. Give me back the key to the city of New York City. Yeah, still dealing with the sexual assault and misconduct lawsuits and allegations, especially from the video of him assaulting Cassie Ventura, which has tarnished his career more than ever before. It's not the word. It's just what I heard. It's just tattletales. 94.1 WHRP. So this happened last week uh, on During the Vacay. It was really um, not a surprise, but exciting to find out that Bronny James mm. will be playing with his daddy. He will be playing with his dad. Oh, and you know what else? This, this just sounds, this makes the story sound that much messier. All right, LeBron James is sleeping with his teammate's mom. Yeah, we heard about all those little jokes. It's dope, though. You think so? Yeah. Because it's real? Yeah, it's literally real. It's his son. Yeah, yeah. And it just it makes it makes for a good story. Does it? You know, yeah, because generally when it happens, it's a bad thing. Some people you know, try to love. stir things up and... You know, it's if you, clickbait. If you're not paying attention, the first thing you're like, did you hear? Oh, mm-hmm. LeBron's been sleeping for like 19 years. Night <laughs> no, forever? Can you no, believe that? No, and they're so happily married? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> big, big shout out to Bronny James for being drafted and playing with his dad. This is the first time it's ever happened in NBA history. Got to make some history. A 55th overall pick. 55th. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, 5'5". <five, five. laughs> Fifth? <laughs> I didn't know we went that deep down in you know. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. How it, many people have been the fifty fifth pick for a basketball? Every team? year they had an NBA draft. There's they, a fifty fifth. The, the, the second day is the mm. day. That's that's where the sleepers get picked at. Well, they're trying to stir things up because they feel like there's some other players that are probably a little more um you know well, qualified. Yeah. No, right. no, you you're right. Yeah. But yeah. LeBron James is the GM. He's the, he's the owner, he's the point guard, he's the center, he's the coach, he's the assistant coach. He got more experience than the, the new coach, oh which is why he drafted his son. I'm not going to lie. If I had an opportunity to draft my son, sure. you know what I'm doing? What? I'm drafting my son. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. Well, you know what you could do? What's you that? could draft your sh- son for this show. <laughs> <laughs> son, Deuce, you up next. <laughs> you up next. <laughs> Tony in the Morning Show on 94.1 WHRP. Let's talk about it, Tony. Yeah, you know what? When I was on uh, VK, and I know uh, everyone has been exposed or has seen, dealt with, um, you know, encountered homelessness. Mm-hmm. And whether it's uh, affected you directly, someone you know, or just seeing strangers uh, trying to survive by living and sleeping on the streets. Mm-hmm. And this is a, a whole countrywide issue yes. has been for decades centuries uh it really feels like that uh nonetheless um i was in las vegas uh, for a couple of days and the temperature was up to 111 degrees Jeez. all right this is desert heat not the 111 degrees we will experience here mm-hmm. if it happens <laughs> uh but this it's a different type of heat it's intense and it's unbearable and so uh, during my travels around the city, I saw people sleeping, living on the street in tents, and it was just heartbreaking, mm. heart-wrenching, breaking. And so we know this exists. We know it happens. And it, I'm from California. It's never been uh, something that has just been washed away. We've got tent city everywhere, everywhere. In, throughout the state of California. Uh, some places a little more impactful than others. We have it here in Huntsville um, and other areas uh, around the Tennessee Valley. It is a problem that has to be fixed, and we keep watching it over. Like, we just keep pushing it to the side, and there's never even any solutions. I was in an Uber having conversation, and the Uber driver, like myself, felt that there are a lot of vacants uh, vacant buildings in all of these cities yes. that could be used for homelessness. Yes. And why? And their government biz- businesses and buildings that are vacant and have been for years. Mm-hmm. I can point them out here in, in Huntsville. And I don't know for the life of me why they are vacant. And can th- these can be used to house people from, from shel- and shelter from heat and cold and, and just the elements. 
Humans are not supposed to live outside like this. Vacant, abandoned buildings that we can do things with. Right. So now the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that cities uh, can enforce bans on homeless people sleeping outside in public places. And a policy has already been in place in Huntsville. First stop. Good morning. First stop. One of our the, the, we celebrated and spent a time with our friends at first stop during the eclipse. And uh, they've been doing an outstanding job in helping our homeless families. And they think that they have a solution. They think they have mm. some ideas and different ways of helping people who are displaced and need homes. What can we do as a country to stop this nonsense? Why are people having to live this way? Rent's too high. Mortgage rate's too high. Uh, jobs don't pay enough. Right. You know, um, there's a lot of different reasons. Cost of living, food, uh, mental health. Yep. A lot of things go into being homeless. Mm hmm. So everybody has different stories. You can't assume you know why a person is uh, displaced and living and sleeping outside and need shelter. But what can we do when we get ready to vote locally and find out who's really um, going to advocate to help people who live like this? And it's not necessary when we know there's vacancies that could be obtained and used to cut this down. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, that local vote matters. Vote locally for change. 94.1 WHRP. I'm DJ Primetime 256. And you're listening to Tony in the morning. Listen, I said uh, when I start singing, um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to be a singer after I retire from radio. OK. Yeah. I'm probably going to sound a lot like Leela James. Real <laughs> soulful. You know, that's Look what you hit enough yeah. for us, Tony. Can uh -huh. you hit enough for us? I Listen. That's going to cost you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, don't sing for free, buddy. <laughs> See how you got out of that right, one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, uh, the U.S. has 10 dangerous states you may want to avoid if you're traveling uh, this summer. Uh, they say personal uh, injury attorneys have found that the 10 most dangerous states to live in, based off of this list, uh evidently have uh, accidents, transport accidents, homicide, suicide, drug overdoses, that none of that sounds appealing. None wow. of that sounds appealing. And um, so here are the five least dangerous states. Mm. Let's see if, we're, if we made it. Okay. These are the least dangerous states. Maine, mm -hmm. ain't nothing going on in Maine. Not at all. Just a bunch of lobster rolling around. <laughs> all right, New Jersey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Massachusetts, mm. yeah. New Hampshire. What's going on there? Uh, voting. Uh, <laughs> Rhode Island. That's up there up north somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see why they're the least danger. Hey, we didn't even know you still existed. All right. Uh, the most dangerous U.S. states are, starting at number 10, Oklahoma. That kind of surprised me. Yeah. But I, 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 I don't know. The old west. Oklahoma. I don't hear too much about Oklahoma. Colorado. You know why that's the most dangerous. I would think that would be the most, the peace state. What, Just because of the vibe? They were one of the first to. Yeah, legalize marijuana. Yeah. So I think they'd be at a, hmm. Mm, okay. Apparently not. Nevada, we get that. I get that. <laughs> <All Yep. right>. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they should be number one. Yes. Number seven, Tennessee. Yeah, that's it's, expected though. Oh, okay. Because of Titan season. You know, oh. they, they haven't been doing that good. And then That has nothing to do it, with oh, that. No, it doesn't. No, oh, okay. right. <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> Uh, Missouri, I get that. I get that too. Yeah, Alaska. Why is it there's, because there's so many men and not enough women in Alaska? It, yeah, nah, I think it's just cold. Oh, okay, it's just cold, just cold, yeah. and that makes it dangerous. See, the bears are violent out there. That's what mm. it is. It's the, it's the wildlife. It ain't the people. Or it's just the fact that it's melting. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Living on a block of ice, it's melting. Arkansas. Mm. Not too far away from here, Arkansas. Louisiana. I expected that. Yep. <laughs> I expected <laughs> right. that. Goodness. And then it's not the people, it's the alligators. Yep. <laughs> and number one. Right. Uh, New Mexico. Yeah. Cartel. The cartel. Yeah. That's horrible. So these are uh, all of the most dangerous U.S. Uh, states that we have, reportedly so. And uh, Alabama didn't make either mm -hmm. list. So where do we fit in? We're probably somewhere in the top ten. Of the nicest states in the world. <laughs> oh, okay. You know? right. Prime time, two, five, six.
On Tony in the morning, 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP. Tony in the morning. About to chop it up and break them down. Those complicated lyrics on old school jams and new ones too. It's the old school, new school lyric breakdown. Ooh, here we go. First oh, yeah. time in a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's step back in time with an old school joint by Blackstreet and never going to let you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It sounds so stalkerish. It, 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 it's not stalkerish. It's, it's you know, when you, you love someone and you understand that you probably messed up mm. and they want to leave, but you never want to let them go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's dig into it. Never going to let you go away. You belong. Yeah, you belong to me. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do, baby. And I'm never going to let you go. Mm-mm. Never going to let you go away. We were meant to be in love. Love. Take your time, Mark. Just sing it for him. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I regret the moment when I heard you say you don't want no part of me no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm so glad that you changed your mind. You're staying in my life forever more mm. forevermore because mm. i'll never never gonna let you go away can't do it baby no no you belong to me and i'm never gonna let you go no never never gonna let you go away i ain't trying to let you go nowhere now baby hmm. no now i'm thinking this sounds a quit a, a quite a bit obsessed it, it, it does it, it is a little scary it, not, not, not scary of sex, no. but love. Love. Sis, you know? I, oh, uh, you okay. want somebody to love you. To, like, like, you just like, never want to let Sounds them go. Sounds very pimpish to me. <laughs> All right. Now, I must admit that... I that I did you wrong hiding all your tears when you cried to, for me to come back home. Mm-hmm. And then you tell me part-time loving just won't do. I can't say a word, but... Oh, I must have been a fool. Mm, mm, mm. But this time, this time, I never, never. You know what? Tony? I just changed my mind. You, they messed up. He messed <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, right. It was his fault. <laughs> right. He went all the way in love. Now he parted in love. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? I, 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 yeah, it's stalkerish. It's Thank you. Stalkerish. you. Thank win. you. Never going to let you go. Yeah, Black Street. It sounds very stalker-like. I'm just saying, PT. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> 94.1 WHRP, good to be back in. Uh, of course, I uh, had a nice vacay. Uh, good long time. Got to see the sisters, the nieces, mm-hmm. the aunties, and all that stuff. They said, And the besties. They said Kendrick Lamar brought all the gangs together, but I think it was you, Tony. I, I think it was you. You, you brought know, everybody together out there in Southern California. I just don't need the attention. <laughs> so we're giving to Kendrick. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need the attention because uh, one of the reasons is they're taking black jobs. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave that one there. OK, <laughs> listen, what are people stealing the most these days? I, I'm going to tell you. Mm, and folks is injured after a Milwaukee brewer lost in an elevator. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. OK, our inspiration song of the day at the top of the hour. Tony in the morning and DJ primetime two five six right here at ninety four point one WHRP. Today's best variety of R&B, 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP, Kenya Vaughn, Summer, and listen, PT, people are stealing, Mm. stealing, and sometimes uh, things are a little more, um, I guess, popular in theft (laughs) than not, (laughs) right? They're saying that Legos has a huge fan base because they're easy to do a resale. Uh-oh. The Legos. Legos are your everyday blocks. Right. I mean, they cost from a hundred to a thousand dollars. The people are building not even just the young kids, but you have adults that are into this whole competition of building with Lego blocks. Folks are still in Legos, Tony. Legos. Legos. Yeah. So these um you know the the these bricks, they used to just be a bunch of square little bricks, mm-hmm. right? Now they're all different colors. And they've got like people and cars and all these different, you know, building like things. I mean, it's amazing what you can do with Legos these days. And so evidently um, there was a a place in Los Angeles that has specialized in selling Legos. Mm -hmm. And the owner said they were asleep. Their ADT went off, security system. 
And the the cameras were showing people robbing their store. They said they they got there in about 10 minutes Mm -hmm. and the bad guys got away with over five thousand to seven thousand dollars worth of Legos. Of Legos. Legos are that expensive. So uh, for those of you who are into the world of stealing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) You're giving them inside. Give me inside tips. (laughs) Uh, the 10 most stolen retail products are, put this, get your paper out, <laughs> put this in your memo on your cell phone. These are the things you want to steal. <laughs> We're not sending you to LA anymore. All right. <laughs> denim, brand denim. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Handbags, mm-hmm. designer shoes, mm-hmm. believe it or not, Olay skincare. What? Yeah. Oil of Olay and Apple products. These are, the, <laughs> along with Legos, if, if you're coming up short mm-hmm. on the things you've been sell- stealing and you're not selling them, they're not getting a good resale, there's your list. Get some skin products. This is why <laughs> oil of Olay, designer shoes, handbags, brand denim, mm. all right, and Apple products oh and God. Legos. Now, yeah. th- now you got to resale. Now, after you steal it, and right. you want to run, do not head to the escalator at the Brewer Stadium. Uh-oh. Man, after a loss, 11 people were injured in an escalator no. malfunction at the Milwaukee Brewers Ooh. Ballpark Stadium. Ooh. Now, six of them had to go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. The rest were treated there on site. They are doing well and okay. What how, happened on the escalator? Man, they, you know what? When it's top secret, they don't be letting everybody know. Mm. However, if there is a capacity limit on the elevator, people, don't be saying, hey, it's cool. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Nah. Mm-mm. Use some steps mm-hmm. or be the one to hop off. Yeah, or just wait. Yeah, that's right. Wait and go downstairs. Or you can slide down the pole. Ooh, we, we not sitting oh, back to LA. <laughs> Tony, Tony in the Tony in the morning and DJ Prime Time 256 94.1 WHRP. Tony in the morning, I'm DJ Prime Time 256, and this is your motivation and inspiration. Do a little something like I did. Take a little time out for yourself. Me time is what we call it. Vacay time. Everybody needs a mental break. You deserve one too. Do a little something like I did. Take a little me time out, a little vacay time, because mental health is real. That is your motivation and inspiration. 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP. Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, Tony, Tony, Tony. It's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony, 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 Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning. 94.1 WHRP. 